Alrighty, we have made it to Shark Bay and I'm absolutely stoked to be here. Uh, this has definitely been one of the places that I've been dreaming about coming to and it's kind of still pinching myself that I'm here. I've been here for the last couple of days now. I took a two days just to chill out, relax and um, yeah, just enjoy my surroundings while I'm here. I've already got some ripper shots though because I can't not take photos, that's for sure. Uh, so yeah, come along, get excited. There's going to be some exciting things happening. Uh, just finished up shooting a little bit of uh, shots around the place here and there's also one big product shoot that I've got to do while I'm here which I'm super keen for. Awesome company and I'm hoping I can take you along for the ride uh, depending on how much time I've got around shooting because uh, it's going to be pretty full on. Uh, but yeah, super excited about that. Come along and let's have some fun again. <laughs> Alrighty, so quite simply, this is where I get my excitement from. You pull around to a corner, to a place like this in the van that you didn't really know existed, and it just looks sick. Like, look at the place. I don't know how well you can see the colors and everything, but this is epic. Like, this is the thrill of being on the road and discovering new places, seeing new things, and yeah, not planning anything, just driving, and it's sick. I love it. I'm stoked. Woo! just went out in the water for a split second and basically uh, I looked back on the cliffs and the cliff face with the sun where it is at the moment is reflecting onto the water so I'm actually gonna get the water housing together quickly and see if I can get a cool shot in the water so let's go. I thought I'd just take you through the process of setting up my water housing. Um, I use an Aquatec Elite 2 system. Uh, today I'm thinking of getting a split shot so basically can see below the water and above the water at the same time. To do that, you need a dome, and then also this little extender, this one here, for my lens, and then I'm also gonna put the zoom port for my lens as well. So basically with a split shot, you're wanting the dome, the element of the dome, and the, well, technically the water, to be as far away from the lens as possible, and that way, by doing so, you get the biggest split shot. So. Um, yeah, just gonna do this and then go from there. So for this shot, I'll be using the A7R3. Um, just because having a high megapixel camera, it's generally my photo camera. And then also these 12 to 24 um, F4 uh, Sony G lens. So uh, with basically any, let's just set that to 12. Um, with any sort of split shots, you're wanting a wider lens. Uh, that way you can see more above the water and below the water. The only downside at times is you will get a little bit of distortion, um, but also you lose the background a little bit. So in this case, I'm not sure if this shot's gonna work 100%, but we'll see how we go. And I still think we'll get something cool from there. Next step is my favorite step. You guys are gonna get to watch it, is the spit and lick. Yummy. So the reason we do this is because with the split shots, you don't want any water droplets, otherwise it's gonna distort the image completely. Um, and it's pretty well impossible to keep this completely dry. 
so it's called a wet port system so you spit and lick on it and that way when you're in the water you keep the dome submerged as much as possible until you're actually shooting and this way when you pull the dome up it'll actually keep a smooth perfect layer of um, water over the dome and it will keep a crystal clear image and yeah you'll get the shot you're after uh, below and above the water without any problems Just pulled up at camp. Uh, it's quite a breezy night tonight. Um, pretty chilly actually. So I am getting a fire going. Uh, first time on since I've been on the road actually that I'm having a fire. So nice little change, but absolutely gorgeous little spot again tonight. Just on the coast, uh, absolutely loving it. And it's pretty, pretty colors in the sky too. Uh, sunsets on the other side, but I'm sure we'll wake up to a great sunrise. And I just did a full whirly whirly for you, but yeah. Loving my time still, did an awesome little full drive trip today and found some perfect spots for the shoot I have to do. So we'll be back there tomorrow and we'll get that shoot going. Woo! Yeah, this is the fun of running up and down the beach to get to the camera and then back in the shot when you have to shoot a project with someone in it and it's just you. So I thought I'd bring you along, go for a little jog back to the camera, but we're going to go for a swim afterwards. <laughs> The third day of the shoot going to a bus now. Each day I've been able to get little bits and pieces, which is cool because you can add them all together. Uh, but yeah, in the end tonight, it was perfect. Uh, the winds wise, right up until the last little minute when the wind came in and blew me out. But yeah, super stoked with what I got so far and I'll be able to piece them all together. So heading back tomorrow. Tomorrow's meant to be the best day for wind in the afternoon that we've had. So fingers crossed that is accurate and go to plan and I can get the shoot done because it's looking good so far. I've been piecing things together and yeah, I'm stoked about it. Today is an absolutely beautiful day. Um, there is hardly any wind and it's meant to be like this all day. So that's gonna be absolutely perfect. Um, it is quite warm, so I'm just going to set up the awning. Uh, have a really cruisy day until later this Savo when I head back to the spot and uh, finish off this shoot. So, yeah, time to chill out. So we've just finished up shooting for Helinox Australia. Uh, I've been shooting their Savannah Chair 
uh, basically making a video and some photos for them. So uh, just finished up today. Finally, we got it done. The wind's come in as of now, but we've got enough shot. I did want to get a shot of the Milky Way. Uh, not Milky Way, but the stars in general. Um, but that's not going to happen with the clouds that are going on. And I've already spent four days trying to get the shots. So sometimes you just have to settle for a little bit less. But other than that, I'm pretty stoked with how everything's looking so far. And I'm think ha hoping that they are stoked too, because that's all that matters. But normally, if I'm happy, they're going to be happy. So yeah, see how we go. Alrighty, so we're just back in town now. I've had my first shower since I hit the road. Uh, well, proper shower. I've had a little bits and bits a couple of times, but yeah, so feeling nice and fresh. Today's just got to be a clean out the van day and get reorganized, and then I'm probably going to head into the national park um, and start exploring there for a bit. So, sweet. So we've just made it to French Choice Heron National Park here in Duck Bay. Uh, I'm just airing down the tires at the moment and we're about to do some exploring again. Um, it's pretty cloudy this is all day, so we'll go through to explore and see what we can see and then get some shots later in the week. Just finished up a big day of driving around and exploring uh, the National Park. It's pretty cool. It's bloody busy though. Um, that's pretty much the biggest downfall of today. And plus the clouds. Uh, the sun's only just come out for the pretty well the first time today. So yeah, just parked up now. The van is absolutely filthy because we had some rain and the roads have gone to absolutely trash. But that van will get washed um, probably tomorrow or the day after. Uh, just because I'm going to go back in there. Uh, when the weather's a little bit better and get the drone up and capture some awesome shots but yeah epic day all van is running nicely and yeah another day in paradise Alrighty, so we just got up for sunrise this morning and got the drone up in the air uh, to hopefully get a shot that I had in mind for a while now. Unfortunately, we're clear on this side, but on the other side that I couldn't see, there's a layer of clouds along the horizon. So it meant the sun didn't glow when it could have. Um, and then now it's a bit too high to get that nice real golden glow on the shot that I was hoping for. So we have to pass on that one, unfortunately, but I'll be back to Shark Bay at one point in time so I can get it then. Um, I'm not too stressed. Some things don't work out. But right now I'm going to head into the National Park again uh, while I've got my tyres aired down and see if we can get another drone shot. So we'll go there. So that's Shark Bay for you and my time there. I spent probably two weeks there in total. Four of those days were pretty much around shooting a little project that you saw. Uh, and 
the rest were just exploring or relaxing sort of thing and capturing the place around. I absolutely love the place. If you've got a four-wheel drive, I think, I almost think it's a must to have a four-wheel drive to really experience the place, but it's definitely worth adding to your bucket list. And if you're heading north from Perth or whatever, it's definitely worth that extra detour out to the point and yeah, seeing what it has to offer because it's pretty remarkable, uh, something very unique. And if you've got a drone, don't be afraid to get it up there uh, because some of the things you see from the drone is absolutely incredible. I probably use the drone the most I ever have in a spot there. Um, I sort of got started getting sick of some drone shots because of it, but that's fine. Um, I have moved on now quite a while ago now. I've been up in Exmouth for two weeks. Um, I am absolutely stoked to be here. I've just been keeping it pretty low key, pretty chill while I'm here so far and just enjoying my time. i uh, starting to meet some people as well, which is good because this is actually gonna be my base for a good period of time. Um, hopefully I will be going out to a few places like Coral Bay, Karajini while I'm around here, but Exmouth as a whole is gonna be my base and I absolutely can't wait to experience and see, see what can happen here. Uh, videos meaning it's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a destination sort of setting like the last two have. Uh, I love making these videos so far. It's been fun. It's been challenging, but they are going to be a little bit different from here on out, but that's fine. Um, it's a little bit of a change and new experience. So we'll see what we can keep bringing to you guys and see what adventures I get up to. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, definitely get yourself to Shark Bay because it is one heck of a spot. You!